this video, we're going to talk about the basics of opening up a chart in Metastock. So we've got Metastock open here. This is how Metastock will look when you first open it. So let's just quickly go through the settings of opening up a chart. When you open up Metastock, right here is where you're going to enter in any symbol that you want to open. There's a couple ways you can open charts, but this is the main one we're going to focus on for the moment. So we can open up any symbol we wanted. Say, for example, I wanted to open up Apple. I would just type in AAPL dot O. Simple as that. Now, before we open up a chart, there's a couple things that we want to do. Here in the Power Console, you can see we have our display range. Now, display range is basically what it how much data is going to appear on the chart when it first loads, basically what it's zoomed in on. Then down here, you have your data request range. Now, data request range is basically saying how much data you're going to load. By default, Metastock will load 1,250 records. So if you're looking at a daily chart, you're looking at about five years worth of data. Over here, on the back on the data display range, it's going to zoom in on the default here, which is 250 records, which is about one year, is the default zoom in when it loads the data. You'll see that when we load the chart. Then as we go down, you can set all this data information here. You can set what periodicity or what time frame you want to load. So we have daily as our default right here. I'm using Metastock RT, so I have intraday time frames. And then I also have, if you're using Metastock daily charts, you have the option to do daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly as well. And on both of them, you can set an interval custom. So you can say one minute, two minute, three minute, whatever, or multiple days. Right here, applying a template, Metastock by default uses what's called a smart chart. The smart chart is the default in Metastock that it will always use the same settings when you load your chart. Templates are basically pre-set up views of a chart, say a collection of indicators or an expert advisor or things like that that we'll talk about in later videos. Or you can just attach an expert to your current smart chart. Okay, with all that done, you can just choose open chart and that will open up your chart. So that's the basics of opening up a chart in Metastock. In other videos, we will we'll be talking about the instrument search and some of the other features of the Power Console. So stay tuned for those. As always, successful trading, and thanks for stopping by for this video.